Hey guys, coming to you with a quick video. Uh, going to cover a vSphere topic today, uh, looking at the VCSA appliance. And I wanted to follow up with a blog post that I had posted recently about log disk exhaustion on a VCSA appliance. Uh, VCSA 7.0 update 2 uh, in the home lab environment. Just wanted to follow up with video and show you guys a step through via the video of the steps that I detailed in the post. So uh, VCSA is really great uh, platform for vCenter server appliance uh, in your vSphere uh, environment. Way, way better than the Windows Server days uh, having that dedicated appliance. But one of the things you want to keep a check on is, and especially I have noticed with the default partition sizes with uh, vSphere 7 update 2, especially if you've got a fairly decent size environment with quite a few VMs and a handful of hosts, this log partition and what you see here, I'm simply logged into the uh, VAMI interface, the, the admin side on port 5480, uh, over on monitor, and then I'm looking at the disks uh, tab. And as you see, this is the partition that has a tendency to fill up. Now, what I want to do is just kind of step you through some of the things that you can take a look at. So what I've done is I've logged in uh, to uh, the VCSA appliance and I'm uh, just at a bash prompt or a shell prompt. And so one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a look at the uh, log partition here. Now, as you can see, the uh, storage log is uh, mounted on the slash storage slash log uh, mount. And this is the one typically that you see fill up once again. Now, one thing you'll notice there is a bit of discrepancy. Uh, between the reporting of the uh, VAMI interface and the root shell uh, that we're looking at, just doing you know the the Linux DF command, not exactly sure what that discrepancy amounts to. Uh, this may be a, a polling interval, perhaps. Uh, so, <clears throat> if I figure that out, uh, I'll add some notes to the blog post there. Uh, that is one thing I have found a, a bit interesting. But as you can see, this particular partition is the one that is uh, getting a little bit uh, full on me here. Uh, not anything to worry about. In fact, what you will see, uh, basically you will get a message in the vSphere client that uh, details the message log disk exhaustion on VCSA. As I detailed in the blog post, I'm gonna put the links in the description of the video. Um, but basically what you can do, you can, uh, no silver bullet here, uh, but what you need to do is just explore your directory structure. And there's a KB article that has the commands in there that I reference as well. Uh, what you can do is this command, the DU command. You can point it at a particular mount, and then you can basically say, give me the top 20 directories found on that partition based on size. So as you can see here, as you start drilling down the structure, uh, we've got some, you know, quite a bit of size taken up in the storage log VMware, vSphere UI, vSphere UI logs, VPXD. Um, so what you have to do is uh, take a look at this at these directories and basically go through those directories and explore where your disk space is being taken. Now we'll say, unless you have something crazy going on, a lot of crashing or some other issue that's just really dumping uh, log, logs into that storage partition, what you normally find is that you will have uh, just normal logging on the VCSA for normal uh, operations are going to start to eat away at that uh, disk space. One thing you can do is, uh, what I like to do is look at this in a graphical UI. So you can just use something like WinSCP 
and literally connect to your VCSA appliance and look at these directories and what those directories contain. So if we look, we can see that vSphere UI and the logs directory, uh, of course, this is recursive. So we're looking at the top level directory structure, then logs looks to have uh, some space taken there. So let's, let's take a look at that. Uh, and I already have this open uh, to that directory. So we've got storage log, VMware, vSphere, UI, logs. And what you will see, nothing extraordinary, but literally we have hundreds of log files. And most of these are just general use log files. Like we've got the you know Tomcat, Catalina logs uh, in this directory. And you're gonna see they're not large in size, but it is literally the quantity of the files that will be taking the directory uh, space. So that's what you can do is basically traverse the folder structure. Uh, here we see VPXD. Let's go up and take a look at that. Uh, let's go back and we got VPXD. And as you see, we, we have some uh, GZ files that are basically zipped formats of some log files that you can see, you know, it's not anything extraordinary, but it's just that you have a lot of those files that are getting uh, accumulated in those directories. Now, there are some housekeeping processes that can prune these out. However, what I have found is these seem to peak up enough in storage space that you will start to see some of those warnings in the vSphere client. So literally what you do is just traverse the folder structure. And what I like to do is just prune off some of the old logs that are you know back in time. So you can take if it's a month ago, two months ago, if you're not, especially in the home lab, if you're not worried about any logging for forensic purposes, uh, for housekeeping, uh, you can just go back through, prune off the logs that are uh, older. And, and usually after you prune those logs throughout the directories, you're going to find that you can reclaim a lot of this uh, space that is uh, taken. So after pruning the log files, you can generally get this back to a decent size of, you know, uh, 70 80 percent free space uh, taken and you know i don't try to delete literally everything in directory but just enough to uh, give that directory some breathing room and that typically in the home lab even with quite a bit of activity lasts for a couple of months anyway from what i've found so hope you enjoyed the video and this quick look at uh, log sizes and disk space in the vcsa appliance especially with the log partition that what I have seen, at least with vSphere 7 update 2, uh, tends to grow in size such that you will see some messaging and warnings in the vSphere client. Hit like on the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like some of the content that I'm putting out there, and always we're going to try to uh, keep the videos coming, and hopefully you'll find the videos helpful. Uh, and help you to get past some of the challenges maybe you're seeing either in the home lab or in production. See you guys later on. Thanks.